Test one, two, test one, two, three. 15 ways, 15 ways to make money. But today we're gonna talk about 15 ways to make money with WordPress. The obvious way, the way that I make most of my money with WordPress is through client services, through services, providing uh, design services, development service, strategic services, marketing services, all wrapped up around the fundamental tool of WordPress for somebody's website. Number two, consulting. So forget the client services, forget the hand deliverables. Are you good enough with WordPress where you can just do consulting? You can trade your time for money, which everybody hates, or you could just put out a nice big fat consulting contract to say for X amount of dollars, I will consult you to develop your next uh, WordPress website, maybe even project manage the next WordPress website that you launch. Really having that knowledge uh, to consult somebody on their WordPress uh, business is a number two way to make money with WordPress. Number three, support. Supporting a business, an individual with WordPress. This has been probably the, the fastest growing sector over the last couple of years. Uh, in fact, we just saw some uh, companies like WP Curve get acquired by GoDaddy, uh, and they were specifically coming up in the WordPress support space. So definitely a hot topic. You can go at the real low end and just try to get a volume play, get as many people as possible, sort of under your monthly recurring number, or you can go at the real high end, right? The real sort of uh, white glove, sort of boutique kind of feel of supporting WordPress. And that could be done by just answering questions on how to use WordPress. Really finding a way to support somebody in WordPress is another, another great way uh, to create revenue with WordPress. All right, something that's near and dear to my heart, number four, selling WordPress themes. Uh, definitely something that's been the flagship model for making money in the WordPress space for quite some time, selling uh, digital products, passive income, that kind of thing. Uh, but supporting themes and developing the theme itself are two, two totally different discussions we, we won't talk about today. But you can certainly launch a free theme, have a pro theme, upsell $59, $79. You can do that through WordPress.org, which has been uh, quite challenging, or ThemeForest, which is also quite challenging because it's very a very competitive space. But there are some other niche marketplaces is out there you might try or you might just try selling it on your own site uh, using something like easy digital downloads you'll be able to sell your themes uh, and really make a go at it that way if you have a great design and a great marketing campaign i think you can really do uh, some good revenue by selling wordpress themes number five selling plugins not too far behind selling wordpress themes that we just talked about maybe wordpress doesn't do out of the box and you're creating this plugin and that's really going to solve this particular need e-commerce email newsletter sign up, uh, podcast stuff, uh, whatever it might be, you might build this unique plugin and sell that uh, again to the world, just like you would distribute your WordPress themes uh, through wordpress.org or Code Canyon, uh, which is another Envato network marketplace. Plugins is a great way to make some revenue, but if you're looking for ways to make money in WordPress, this is probably the hottest thing that you could do right now. Number six, affiliates. Make some affiliate income recommending other WordPress products and services. Uh, this is probably one that really makes people cringe a little bit, uh, even myself included. One, because it's a very hard, hard market to really break into. You really need a lot of traffic uh, to get affiliate sales really working for you in this channel. Um, I'm not even sure what YouTube channel I'm gonna put, post this on yet. You can sell themes, plugins, hosting, and services that provide affiliate accounts for you, and even ancillary products around that. Uh, you can make a good living uh, doing affiliate stuff, or you could be an affiliate uh, provider of your own. We talked about themes and plugins. Um, another great way to make and increase your revenue in that market is offering an affiliate channel uh, for your uh, for your own products, even your own eBooks or membership sites, that kind of thing. Use something like Affiliate WP, another Pippin's plugins product. Use that to make an increase your online revenue. Number seven, this time we're gonna talk about apps, apps for WordPress. Uh, you can make writing apps for WordPress, management apps uh, for WordPress. Uh, Desk is a name of an app made by John Saddington, which is just a uh, local app for WordPress. It allows you to draft and write your blog posts. You can also use a service like AppPressor, which actually allows you to build native apps with WordPress. So there's two different plays with, with apps in this sense. You can build your own uh, apps on this side. I'm not even gonna illustrate that. I'm just gonna 
squiggle something here and it's gonna make sense for you. Uh, you can make an app where somebody downloads it to their uh, desktop and they can uh, install it. Or you can create an app with WordPress uh, with AppPressor and that will allow you to create almost a native app that you could sell to somebody, you could create, put it on the app store and try to get people to download it and get some transactions going that way. So apps would be my number seven, seven way, it's number seven, seventh way <laughs> to make money using WordPress. Number eight, we're gonna make membership websites. Um, I said before that plugins are probably the hottest sort of tech piece of WordPress right now. Selling membership websites, creating a membership website using WordPress is another great way to make money with WordPress. You could either be creating your own membership site uh, and selling your own sort of uh, private consulting, coaching, learning kind of course, uh, or you could be helping people build membership websites. Great plugin to use for something like this is Restrict Content Pro. A second would be a learning management tool, a learning management plugin, which is much more concise for sort of the education piece of that. And something like Lifter LMS would be a great uh, plugin to do uh, some kind of LMS type solution for memberships. Number eight, membership sites built on WordPress. Number nine is gonna be e-commerce and WooCommerce as a secondary here because there's two opportunities here. There's a huge opportunity in getting people uh, onto WordPress as an e-commerce platform. And then there is a huge opportunity in the WooCommerce space as well. WooCommerce now owned by Automatic. There is a tremendous opportunity in that training, education, and all of that stuff. And then building e-commerce solutions using uh, well, any other e-commerce plugin that you might find out there or something like WooCommerce, building a Woo, uh, an e-commerce hosted platform using WooCommerce, which I would suspect is the next step for Automatic. You could just be somebody who has stuff that they want to sell and WooCommerce will allow you to do that. WordPress will be a great platform to do that regardless if you use WooCommerce uh, or not. And uh, hey, number nine, sell stuff using WordPress. Number 10. Sponsorship, sponsoring videos and content uh, and podcasts and YouTube channels and blogs uh, and personalities like this show um, is it probably a definitely the unicorn side of making money with WordPress. It's how I make money with WordPress. I get people to sponsor a podcast. I put out a lot of content. I say, hey, this content is brought to you by Pagely, Valet. Restrict Content Pro. These are the people that support the efforts that I have, independent media uh, in the WordPress space. So sponsorship, if you are somebody who is really ingrained into the WordPress community and you're putting out a lot of WordPress content, uh, that 1% of you out there, that 0.001% of you out there like me, sponsorship is a great way to make money uh, in the WordPress uh, ecosystem. Maybe for the rest of you out there, all these other solutions is probably a better bet uh, for making money uh, in the WordPress space. Number 10, sponsorship. Number 11, number 11, writing services. What happens when somebody gets a blog for their business? They need to write content. Uh, this is another huge sector for people who are not technically, not always technically inclined. They don't have to be a designer or a developer, that kind of thing. They don't need to, how to learn how to do code. They just know how to write stuff. Um, ghost writers, content writers, content marketing, that kind of thing. Writing services is huge. Writing plugin reviews in the WordPress space, theme reviews, hosting reviews, uh, but also having content services for clients. Uh, writing services is a great way to make money. In fact, it's our 11th way <laughs> to make money in the WordPress space. Number 12, it's training. Training people how to use WordPress. Not too far off from the consulting uh, that we mentioned at the top of the show, at the top of the video. One-on-one -on -one training. This could be just blog training. This could be e-commerce training. This could be organizational-wide training. Um, it could be a tutorial channel like this channel if I have posted this on Plugin Tut showing them how to use the ins and outs of WordPress and all of the different sort of web services that connect to it. Training is our number 12 way to make money with WordPress. Lucky number 13, in-person workshops. This is an opportunity that I don't see enough of, uh, of all of the WordPress entrepreneurs that I'm connected to. I don't see many people really taking advantage of in-person workshops. Uh, Emphasize the work in the workshops because I know it does take work, something you have to show up for, something you have to really prepare for. You have to gather people into a room and then ask them to buy a ticket uh, or exchange some money for your time. Uh, but I think that this is an underserved market and local workshops would definitely be something of interest. I know in my community, maybe in your community as well. So number 13, can you go out and make some money producing WordPress workshops?
Number 14, and probably the hardest market to break into is WordPress hosting. Um, you can try to become your own WordPress managed host, uh, somebody who has a specific knowledge in WordPress uh, and they create a hosting environment. Very difficult to get into with a lot of the great players uh, that are involved in it already and some of the huge players that are involved in it already. But you can certainly take your own shot at it if you want. It's really about marketing, getting people onto your hosting, I should say. It's really about a lot of things. But if you can have the right marketing and message and get people on, you can mature that hosting platform as you uh, get more money into the business, get more customers signed up. And if you have a specific focus that you can really dial in uh, for your hosting providers that somebody else isn't uh, offering, it's a great way to get into the WordPress hosting market. And secondly, you could just be an affiliate for WordPress hosting, or you could be a reseller of WordPress hosting that's out there. So a couple different avenues uh, in the number 14 hosting piece of making money with WordPress. And last but not least, number 15, SEO, uh, providing SEO services for your clients, helping them rank uh, locally on you know, whatever what search terms that they're, they're trying to rank for locally uh, or globally, whatever it might be. Um, but offering SEO services, optimizing the WordPress websites that are already out there, finding clientele for that, I would say is, should not be last. <laughs> it should be uh, way up there. But SEO services for WordPress. I'd love to hear your comments below. Leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. Let me know what you think. Are there other, other ways you're making money with WordPress? Was I way off with these 15 ways to make money with WordPress? Uh, I'm sure plenty of you out there think that some of this stuff is crazy talk and not even possible, but let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like it. We'll see you in the next video.